Hey, 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 the devil. Oof. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so what's been going on over the last month with Eddie and Thor? They've been throwing back and forth these charity offers, uh, which are great. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a great thing to do for charity. Uh, it's very generous offers that they've been giving out. So let's go back to the start uh, with Eddie Hall put out the first offer. So Eddie Hall uh, put out to Thor uh, back in October saying that um, the loser has to give $100,000 to the winner's choice of charity. Great, generous offer. Okay, so if you're that confident, then let's do a little wager between ourselves. If you're that confident, why don't we do the winner gets $100,000 to their choice of charity. So if I win, you pay $100,000 to my choice of charity. If you win, I pay $100,000 to your choice of charity. If you're that confident, you'd pull the trigger on that. So that's, that's on the table. So then Thor responds two weeks later, <laughs> which Eddie wasn't happy about <laughs> because Thor gave some pretty naff excuses or said why he couldn't do it. He was training, his nutrition and sleeping and things like that. Now, obviously, you can't make a video if you're sleeping, so why not anyway? So silly excuses. He probably just went, nah, I'll respond whenever. That's what it was. But Thor responds then and says, uh, he wants to come to offer and no matter who wins or loses, both of them give $200,000 uh, to charity. Again, fantastic. That's 400 grand going to charities. Amazing. Uh, really respect the guys for doing that. I have a counter offer for you. I would like to match your $200,000 and I would like to give those $200,000 to a charity and I want you to do the same thing no matter what. Win or lose, we both go away, we both win, and we give more to charity. The winner of the event will of course get to choose where those $400,000 goes to, which charity. So then, Eddie responds on the same day he puts out the video uh, with a counter offer. He said the 200 grand, done and dusted, put it in the contract, but he wants the loser to pay the winner's choice of charity one million bucks. Now, that's a lot of money to be giving away to charity. I think the loser should be punished a little bit. So, Thor, he's my counter offer, and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take you two weeks to reply to this. My counter offer is $200,000 each for charity. Done, done deal, let's lock that in. Promoter, write that in the contract. My counter offer is whoever loses pays $1 million to charity. Now, you're super confident. You see, you know, knock me out in the fourth round with an uppercut. <laughs> go, go for it. So then Thor responds by rejecting the offer, saying it's irresponsible and reckless, uh, and he shouldn't really be giving out that offer, really. So he rejects the million bucks offer, uh, but comes back with a counter offer that the loser has to have a tattoo. Didn't say where, <laughs> but he says he has, they have to have a tattoo saying world's strongest man of either or. So world's strongest man, Eddie Hall. If Eddie wins and if Thor wins, Eddie will have to have world's strongest man, <coughs> Hathor Julius Bjornsson. Obviously, Eddie's tattoo is going to cost more because there's more letters. <laughs> but that was his counter offer. I am going to not accept that offer uh, it would be irresponsible on my behalf to do so so uh, i'm going to say just no if you want to donate more if you don't want to donate at all that's fine that's up to you uh, i don't think we have to have the need to brag about donating to a charity online this is the last time i'm going to speak about that online and i hope you're going to do the same thing Anyways, my counter offer to you, Eddie, is the loser of the mats has to get a tattoo. Yes, listen carefully. So if I lose to you, I have to get the world's strongest man at the hall. If you lose, you have to get the world's strongest man, Hafthor Julius Björnsson. I think this is a great counter offer, but before you jump out of the chair and grab your phone, 
please think this through. Then, Eddie agrees with the uh, tattoo. He's all for it. He'll have the tattoos. 200k both to each other's charities, no matter what, win or lose. But he was a, a, a little bit uh, derogatory to Thor, saying that he was really silly for um, rejecting the offer. And it shows that he's not confident enough uh, in his own ability. I don't need to think things over, mate. As I say, I think, I think in here. I think in the heart. So I speak from the heart. So straight away, I'll say yes to that. Lose Ross to get a tattoo of Will's Strongest Man in the opposing name. Let's, let's tick that off. $200,000 each to charity. Regardless, let's tick that off. That's, 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 that's a goer. But Thor, the million dollars to charity. Why won't you say yes to it? You say it's irresponsible, but we both know what we're getting from this fight. It's not irresponsible at all. So, for it just, I think that speaks volumes about your confidence more than anything. So, end of the day, if you're that confident, you say you're going to knock me out in the fourth round with an uppercut. You said that on your last video. Um, so, the offer's still on the table, $1 million to charity. It speaks volumes about your confidence. So, you can say you're not bothered, and you're saying this is the last time you're going to speak on it. But I'm, I'm offering you a million dollars to the winner's charity. If you don't take that, I think that speaks volumes about your confidence and everyone can see it. Now, here's the thing. Um, I kind of see where Thor is coming from. Uh, you think about it, right? I think Thor has invested a lot of money in this journey towards this fight. More so than Eddie, I, I would imagine. You know, I'm sure he put some of his own money into them exhibition fights. He's been hiring trainers and things like that, and traveling all around the place to train. Um, <clears throat> so I think that he's invested quite a lot of money into the into this journey so far. Also, uh, you know, they, they've only around for so long, aren't they? These guys. They never get. You, you've got to. What do they say? Repay while the sun shines. Okay. So basically. They're not going to be popular always. Well, they may be popular, but their popularity will wane and they'll make less money. So you've got to make as much money as you can now while you're popular, while you're still famous, okay? You know, don't make the mistake of some of these boxes from years ago who've made loads of money and squandered it all. So you've got to get a little nest egg for yourself for when you're older and when you're not as popular and not making as much money. Um, and plus the fact that he's invested a lot of money, he's got to recoup some of his losses. Now, when it comes to... Uh, fighting big guys when they've got huge guys throwing le leather around the size they are um, whether you're confident or not uh, there's always a chance you're going to get sparked right out okay because these guys are throwing heavy shots um, so even though you're confident and you might think you're the better fighter there's still a chance you could get knocked out and if you get knocked out you've got to give a million quid away mm, do you know what I mean so yeah, I mean, look at Anthony Joshua to Ruiz and Lennox Lewis. He lost, uh, uh, you know, and he they, they're both realistically the better fighters, especially Lennox Lewis. He was far the better fighter when he lost. Twice, I think, he lost just because he hadn't trained enough, whatever. But it happens. When you've got heavy guys throwing leather around, it's very easy to get sparked out if you're caught. So i got to say, uh, I have to agree with Thor on this one. Even though, I'm, like, it's a very even fight. Um, I'm not being biased towards Thor at all. I agree with what he's saying. But I do think that I give Eddie the edge in winning the fight. Just a little bit. It's going to be a close fight, closer than a lot of people think. I really hope that it's not going to be a draw. Uh, if it is, then both of them got to get tattoos. <laughs> Come on, it's only fair, isn't it? <laughs> right? <laughs> if it's a draw. Uh, oh, so that's my thoughts anyway. I'm sure people will disagree or agree with me. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section. I always read them. Um, that's the end of the video, but I do have a little bit of an exclusive for you. Check this out. Here's my counter offer. Let's donate our heads to charity, no matter who wins. Hey up Thor, the loser gives away a kidney. <laughs> and there you go, you hit it here first. They're giving away their heads and kidneys to charity. <laughs> Okay, like, subscribe, and don't forget to smash that bell. <laughs> Maybe not that hard, okay? And I'll catch you in the next video.